this Mark's Reviews Tutorials video. Today we're putting in a uh, towel rail. We're just going to show you the ins and outs. This is a hidden fixtures towel rail, very similar to this one down here. So there's no screws visible or anything like that. And uh, we're going to show you how to put it up. If you have a look over here, you'll see these little guys here. You'll get something like this, or very similar, will come with your kit. And what you actually do is mount these to the wall, screw it on, and then you mount the towel rail to this. All of these hidden fixture towel rails have a little, either a, gloves, a grub screw or a little screw that comes in and then holds in place. There'll be a hook over the top. Have a look inside the fitting. You'll see there's a hook on one end and then a spot with a grub screw and down there, see with an Allen key head or a little slotted screw head, that is often put underneath. So when you're looking at something, be it a toilet roll holder, look, I'll put a link up here to when I showed you how to do this with a toilet roll holder. Um, and in this case, with a towel roll, we're actually gonna put it over top um, if it's gonna go higher. So you put it where you're not going to see it and then it'll look like it's a hidden fitting. So step one is to mount these discs in. And then step two, you simply press this in place, do up that little grub screw there with an Allen key and it stays on so we'll show you the mounting of course obviously you've got to measure the distance between to start with and then using a spirit level like this you get it level because nothing worse than a towel rail that's not level uh, mark it off as you can see we've got here and then the next tip I've got the screws that are supplied are not actually self drilling screws so you can drill a little hole in your door or I'm just going to cheat I'm going to use a self drilling screw that I've got here I'm going to drive that in it'll it's got a really sharp point and it'll catch really quick and screw in and then put these screws in behind it so this is effectively going to do the job of a drill um, but I can just all do it very quickly okay so here we go okay right in the spot that we want make sure your drills going in the right direction Put that and then hold it. And then it'll screw in. Screw it out. And you have now got, you can actually take the opportunity to knock the bit of roughness off. But now what's left there, um, you can now put the fitting on and screw the other screws. Okay. The first screw in um, on both of these using the existing hole. So we're going to get that in, get it a little bit tight. We'll wind this one in. Bit more. That's it. And then get that so it's sitting square, and then you get your little drilling screw again and um, drill the two plates, beautiful and tight, and in like that. Important, don't just spin, spin, spin the, the drill with the screw once it's in, that'll just loosen the hole up. If they're nice and tight, if you've had some sort of disaster, it all goes loose, you can get some construction adhesive. I'll put a link to the different stuff in the description, put a blob of it behind. Or if you're tightening up an old one, again, put some construction adhesive in the holes and a blob behind it, screw it back in, and then let it set before you put the thing back on. And that'll hold it all nice and tight. Next step, you get your grub screws out and loose, hook it under the bottom, lift it up and over, like that, and like that. And then you uh, do the grub screw down. This is a bit of a fiddly part of it. As you can see, normally when they're tight enough, the grub screw will come down to flush, like it has there. Um, and from down underneath, you're not going to see that. This towel rail has been mounted quite high. That's up over my head. Um, and that's beautifully and tight. There's no wobbles, no movement. If you've got wobbles and movement, go back to your screws or back to the grub screw and get it in tight until it's right. But uh, there you go. Towel rail is up and mounted. Great job.